Hey, Scott, I just got off the phone with Pfizer CEO Albert Borla, uh, as well as Michael Dolson, the chief of R&D, and uh, Frank D'Amelio, the uh, chief financial officer. And, you know, we've been talking a lot about whether we're going to need booster shots of COVID-19 vaccines because of these variants. And we know that Moderna is already developing a new construct against the B1351 variant associated with South Africa. Now, Pfizer telling me that they expect that their original vaccine should provide enough immunity against those variants. They are planning to test booster shots of their COVID-19 vaccine, as well as constantly developing new constructs of COVID vaccines in case they are needed. And in particular, they are looking at the South African and Brazilian variants, which are troublesome and potentially trying to combine some shared sort of pieces of those variants in a construct that they could test against their original COVID-19 vaccine as a booster. But this is something they are constantly looking at. And they said they want to be in a position to be able to act within 100 days on a new variant if it's needed, but they don't want to develop a new vaccine if it's not needed and then take some of that manufacturing capacity. One other thing to note from that conversation, they are also developing antiviral drugs against COVID-19. These have flown under the radar, but they said an oral version, a pill, they expect to have in a pivotal trial starting in April, guys. So this could provide another tool alongside vaccines uh, during this pandemic. Scott. And and Meg, I take this, and I'm not looking at the stock price for any validation of any, any point of view, uh, because it's hard to read a moment-by-moment -moment thing on, on something like Pfizer or Moderna or, or anything else. This sounds to me net-net really good news. Is, is that how you're taking it as well? Well, it depends on uh, for whom you're talking about. But, you know, Pfizer down, interestingly, 2.3 percent. I think a lot of people thought their guidance for this year was a bit light. You know, they forecast $15 billion in sales just this year from their COVID vaccine. A lot of people think that that is very conservative just based on the contracted doses, which is less than half of their capacity. Uh, so the $15 billion could really be a lot more for Pfizer. Um, but in terms of them well, thinking that their current vaccine works against these scary variants, that's good for everybody. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm talking about greater civilization. The investor and the stock price <laughs> at this very moment is taking a backseat. I'm thinking that this is good news that Pfizer has, has told you uh, that Mr. Borla uh, and the other person that you said you spoke with uh, had told you that it's not like they are rushing to have to retool or remake a vaccine because they think that what, what they've done uh, so far uh, has the efficacy to deal with these new variants. That's the greater takeaway and maybe the greatest of the news that you just brought us. Yes, that's a great summary, Scott. And I will just note, though, they do think boosters are probably going to be needed um, to increase the antibody level, uh, whether it's of the original vaccine or something they have to make in the future is an open question. Um, but we probably are in for recurring COVID shots, just like we get flu shots every year.